guys, we are back on another video here, and this is a very important video to explain uh, why there is no content or team of the week uh, today in NHL HUD. Unfortunately, uh, the content has been delayed. Uh, as I'm making this video, it could be maybe fixed in an hour. We don't really have a timeline on it. I'm going to show you guys everything that has been said about it so far. I hope you guys do enjoy this video. Make sure you leave a like, subscribe if you have not already, and I'll, uh, I'll, I'll show some other things in this video too. I'm not going to just completely like just let the video like die out like that either right so uh anyway basically i was streaming if you guys haven't already follow me on twitch twitch.tv slash henrique i was streaming and at four o'clock ea tweeted it out on the four the unfortunate tweet today's nhl 23 hot content will not be available at 5 p.m eastern we will let you know when we have an update so at this point, we do not have an update still. It's been only well, been an hour, so I, I can't say it's been like a long time, obviously. But so far, the content has been delayed uh, eight minutes or nine minutes after five. Uh, but we will see. We will see exactly uh, what happens here. But unfortunately, right now, there's no team of the week out. There's no prime time, unfortunately. So right now, just got to wait. That's the only thing you can do. Your Rivals rewards are still claimable, though. You can get your Rivals and Hot Champs rewards. That did come out, so... Have no fear about that. I got all my my rivals packs out right now here as well. So, yeah, I mean it's uh could be worse, I guess, but certainly you do have your rival packs available. So that's that's good. Uh, but unfortunately, there's no prime times, no team weeks, no wacky Wednesday cards. Unfortunately, so that's uh, the situation we're in right now. Again, this could be really quickly fixed. This video could be outdated very quickly, but I'm not 100 certain. That's why I also wanted to include some other things in this video here. Uh, just some some overall uh, some overall tips, honestly. Uh, just just general tips on on team building. So basically, guys, I know a lot of people always ask me like, oh, should I wait for week two MSPs when I make like, should I wait for the week two MSPs? I'm not sure if I want to make any of these week one guys. I always really believe, guys, you should definitely wait to to make for sure an MSP from an event. Wait the, the two weeks to see all the cards that come out for that event, and then you know if you like a certain player or not, right? So for example, right. I could really use that. I could really use a left-handed forward, right? For sure. I definitely could. So right now, do I really want to make, do I want to make uh, potentially, I mean, I, I, I'm like Tavares and play him on the wing? No, right? I, I think that's silly. So at this point, I should wait for week two to see if there's anyone that I maybe want to maybe make for week two, right? That's, that's a possibility that I could do for that. Uh, but in general, I think it's smart. Also, we were asking me a lot on should I save packs for team of the season? So for me, as a YouTuber, as a creator, I am saving my packs for next Friday because I'm assuming it's team of the season. Again, no confirmation on that. Just pure speculation. I hope you guys know that. Just pure speculation. But I am, okay? I'm not opening my packs this Friday. I'm having two weeks of rewards to save up and hopefully get some lucky pulls on the team of the season, okay? Uh, but again, more than likely... Uh, week two is typically is better when it comes to the master set players. That's another thing to keep in mind as well. That's kind of like a little bit of a, you know, hidden gem, I guess a secret, I guess you want to call it that. Um, so that's something to keep in mind as well. Uh, then we also have to remember something, guys, that the event, Team of the Season, is very expensive, okay? That's something to very much show remember. So don't, don't expect to be able to make many Team of the Season cards and, and potentially do this set many times. Because again, guys, it's... They're very expensive. They're very, very expensive. That's something you really gotta remember, okay? Another thing I wanna talk about in this video as well, uh, which is some, some, just some, some quick strategy changes maybe, just minor things. I'm not gonna make a full video on this yet, at least I'm not 100% certain if I wanna stick with it, but I'm also messing around here with potentially playing the uh, one four again, but I'm not sure. I mean, I've been really giving up a lot of goals recently, and how much of that's just how the game is starting to go now. Like goals are a lot easier to score, but I'm not 100% certain. But so far, I've been I've been really rocking the one four neutral zone trap, uh, just for a little bit, just for for today mainly. So uh, we'll see if that ends up actually sticking or not. But that's what I'm running right now. Uh, another thing I really wanted to mention here was this uh, this uh, I, I would say, guys. Very important thing about the market, okay? Very important thing about the market and what you want to do, okay? So, really, at this point, guys, I mean, it's it's March now, so not a lot of cards in the auction house, unfortunately, but I really believe that you guys need to be smart with your coins, okay? And how do I... What do I mean by that? Sorry with your coins. Buy cards that, for the most part, are not going to drop significantly in price, okay? So, what kind of card do that, you might be asking. So, most of the time, guys, 
MSBs drop quickly in price, actually. So, for example, the next gen event, right? So, look at the next gen event. Boldy's 238 right now, okay? Boldy was probably going for like 350 the, the first week of the event, right? So, that's something very much to keep in mind. Or, I think this is week two he came out. But that whole week two of the event, Boldy was going for a lot. Now, it was only for 238. Typically, guys, the MSP's values drop a lot. So, if you're going to buy one, I would be sure to probably, if you don't think you want to keep them for a long period of time, I would more than likely sell them before the new event, okay? So, for example, you have this event right now, the Clutch Moments event, right? So, for example, this Petrangelo, this Flurry, uh, the Forsberg, right? So, for example, this Forsberg card, 500k right now. I mean, absolutely... You should not probably pay this for that for him. Like, I think that's a crazy amount of coins. I really do. Realistically, what Forsberg should probably be worth is at most I'd probably pay 350, really. Because again, a guy like this, once team of the season comes out, there will be better cards in him. And what do I mean by that? Well, the team of the season will have better synergy options. They'll have more like options. There'll be more, probably like pretty much all synergy slots taken up. The abilities could be better as well. Just be better cards in general than Forsberg, right? So that's something to keep in mind. Uh, and the team of the season cards upgrade, right? So those will be more valuable. And you probably want to have your coins saved for team of the season. I would say really save your coin for team of the season, guys. I think it's a very important thing to do at this point right now. So uh, that's it. Hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure you do leave a like. Subscribe if not already. Follow me on Twitch, Henrik, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, and Nuki3Es. Enjoy the Discord or talk to me. Follow and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video.